Hi guys, this current challenge is called Zigzag Sequence and it's all about rearranging an array. So let's say I have this array here, uh, this section that I'm trying to highlight, it's an array called A and it has five integers. We can use the size of the array, which is five, to derive a new value that we're going to call K. So let's say I have this formula here. Again, I'm trying to highlight it. It's K equals N plus one divided by two. We can pass the size of the array, which is five, to that formula, and we will get five plus one, which is six, divided by two, and that is three. So I can now rearrange my array so that the first three elements are arranged in increasing order, and the rest of the array is arranged in decreasing order. So if I scroll down here, uh, they have some sample inputs, which I have just uh, copied and rewritten here. So that is the original array. It has uh, seven integers from one to seven. We are supposed to get a new array like this, a rearranged array, if you want. It's the same array, but we are just rearranging the elements. So how did I get this? Well, we just derived the value for K. So because we have seven elements, I'm going to pass seven to my formula, which is uh, initially N plus one divided by two. So N is seven. So now I will get eight divided by two. And that means K is four. So the first four elements of my array are going to be arranged in increasing order. And then the remaining integers, which is the rest of the array, are going to be arranged in decreasing order. So here we have to debug a certain function. I'm going to switch my screen to the full, um, you know, the full view. And uh, we just need to modify three lines of code. So here I have this void function called find zigzag sequence. First, what I'm doing is I'm sorting my vector to make sure that it is in increasing order. I'm now guessing the uh, value for K. K here is called mid, uh, but we need to be careful here because when I say N plus one divided by two, let's use our value of seven. Mid is going to have the value four. But then here, if you check here, what we're trying to do is swap the middle elements with the end so that we can start figuring out how to arrange the rest of our array in decreasing order. But mid now serves as the index. And we all know that indices are zero base. So the first thing that I need to do is add minus one here. Now that I have uh, this correct value, I can swap my middle elements with the, uh, the last one. This is going to be the same thing as me saying I'm swapping seven with four here, which is the middle elements. To rearrange the array, I need to get a starting point and an ending point. But because the middle and the end are already swapped, mid plus one is correct. We are setting that the next elements after the middle points, but this one needs to be minus two because the end is already sorted. So we need to start reversing from the second to last item and perform the swapping. So this while loop here controls the swapping if the value at the starting points here is less than or equal to the value at the ending point, we swap them so that we can get our decreasing order. And then when we are done handling a particular element at the starting point, we increase it, we move, it's like a pointer, so we move it to the next element. And then we also move our ending points backwards. So this should not be plus one, this should be minus one because the ending point moves in reverse order from the end towards the middle points whereas the starting point moves from the middle point towards the end. So um, these are the corrections that we need to make to our function. I'm not going to run this code and we just pass the, uh, the test cases. Let's just submit this code and we also pass the test cases again. So that's it for this hacker rank challenge. Please turn on your notifications. I'll catch you next time.